We're gonna do this marathon. We're gonna run that sub 230 and get it done. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the River Thames. Here we are where we live. Me and Sarah who's recording just behind me. There she is. In uh, Greenwich in London because yeah we've got loads to chat about today. The start of a whole new series. Getting ready for a elite marathon that is coming up in April but we'll chat about that in a minute. I want to take you guys through all the training building up for that and help, more importantly for my goals helping you with your running as well. So yeah we're gonna head out today we've got a long run to do gonna go and explore the east side of London take you guys along and yeah we'll have a chat and catch up and yeah as always guys let me know how you're going down in the comments below love to have a catch up there we'll see you down there shortly. Right, it's time for a little bit of a warm up and then we'll see you out on the run. Right guys, we're 4.7418k to the run as the DNR goes past me just here. Yeah, just running through a place called Limehouse, Limehouse Basin. Ooh. The whip it wants to play. Uh, Limehouse Basin just over uh, to the side, but yeah. So, race time. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be able to get a go ahead for this race. As you might have seen in my last video, the first race, or the first big race we're gonna lead up to and what this whole little mini series will be about is the Wrexham, through this cool tunnel, Wrexham Elite uh, Marathon, which is gonna be on the 25th of April. So, yeah, with everything that's going on in the world, they should be fine for me racing by then. And yeah, the Wrexham Elite Marathon is elite only. That's their description, not me. You've got to be a sub 240 or a sub 3 lady, sub 240 man or sub 3 lady to get a place on the start line. So that's 13 weeks away. They are very hopeful for it happening. Wrexham is in Wales, in case you didn't know, sort of north part of Wales. And yeah, the, there'll be loads of obviously very good runners from the UK and around the world hopefully so it should be a very small field size I don't actually know you can't actually work it out but I'll put it up on the screen now after I've done some research how big that will be so yeah super 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 excited Okay, so 13 weeks out, what are we going to be doing? Well, for about the next three weeks, I'm just going to be building mileage. So lots and lots of low heart rate, easy run training. Building it up gradually. The trouble is in the UK at the moment, uh, we're only allowed out once a day for exercise. It can be as long as you want, but yeah, once a day. So I can't run any doubles. So it's going to be really hard to hit the big mileage I need to do for about the next sort of three weeks so still it'll be lots of long runs and hopefully this week about 130 140k and then just try and keep that up i would like to try and do 100 mile a week off singles that's going to be tough and then combine with that to make up for the slight lack of mileage uh, we'll be doing a lot more strength work at home and yeah i'll put some little bits and pieces of the home strength work routine and as always focusing so much on the recovery to get ready to go out the next day and the next day and do it all again. Lots of easy miles, not very sexy. I quite enjoy it really. Lots of podcasts on. I'll put my podcast recommendations on the screen here actually. Um, yeah, that's how it's going to be. And then after the next two or three weeks, we'll start building in some workouts and take you guys along for those long run, long run workouts. Sarah on the bike as well filming and showing you what it takes to run a 229 marathon because I think that's going to have to be the goal. Right guys, right, 11k in to the run now, feeling quite good but it's quite relaxed, easy pace today. Just uh, the start of the Lee Valley navigation and then we've got like Dalston and Hackney just over there and over the side we've got the Olympic Stadium, the Olympic Park, Stratford. Yeah, nice day. But anyway, so we're chatting about some shoes. Now much you guys love chatting about shoes. Because yeah, I've been super 
frustrated with my usual Nike next percent uh, tempos because the damn AirPods keep busting. At about 400k into the shoe, so they're getting a bit of damage. And then the AirPods just not explode, just empty of air and break and have to send them back to Nike for a refund. They've been quite good. Had three pairs now, but two pairs are broken. So yeah, just about to get my fourth pair, which I'll probably get at the end of this run. But yeah, super annoying, but the trouble is my favorite marathon shoe is obviously gonna be the Alpha Flies, but they've got AirPods in as well. So the confidence in the shoe is wearing very thin. Lots more testing, with some fast race shoes coming up. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Have you had AirPods break? The uh, Nike AirPods, not the Apple AirPods. <laughs> yeah, what should I do? What shoes should I get? Always want to hear your thoughts. Just back on the canals, guys, and over here in these buildings, that just here, is where they film MasterChef. Fun little pointless fact there. Right guys, nearly finished the run, we're about 19.5k, making it up to 20. So just for the little bit at the end, we're going to do some strides. Now if you don't do strides, you should be doing strides. Strides are seriously important to get in. Really good to do this, maybe once a week after one of your easier runs. And it's basically, I'm just going to do four, four today, so four times, about 100 metres absolutely going for it what i call my running for a bus pace uh yeah you're just focusing on good form getting a nice turnover it helps build some strength in your legs and as i say helps your form as well and then you're about 30 seconds a uh, little recovery in between each one working hard, reach for the stars and get your goals done. Come on, we're gonna do this marathon. We're gonna run that sub 230 and get it done. <laughs> the beep of the Garmin pours that 20K done. Not too bad today. That takes us up to 80K for the week. I'll put the miles and stuff on the screen. 80K in four days. Not too bad, what was the pace today? Four, I think 4.22 pace today. So a little bit over seven minute miling, which is kind of where easy pace is. It's fed up over there with those strides. Right, let's get through the foot tunnel and back to the flat, get some lunch and catch up at everything else. Hope you guys, hope you guys are going well. We'll see you in a bit. Right guys, just back in from the run, just gonna make myself a quick shake. It's what I really like to do pretty soon after I get back, yeah, here, get back in for the run. So yeah, just gonna have half of my container here with water and half just adding in some coconut milk. Of course you can add in whatever milk you like, but really like co the coconut milk. So that goes into the blender there. Get a close-up on that, Sarah. And then into there, we're just gonna add some frozen blueberries. Just get these all super nice. We've got the frozen blueberries. I never really know how many, just chuck a handful in. And then also a reasonably nice and ripe, juicy banana there. And then just add in a little bit of protein powder as well. We are a little bit down on our frozen fruit that we've got in at the moment. So I'd like to add in a bit of pineapple and mango in there as well, but we haven't got any. So yeah, gonna whack the lid on that. Get it on. Epic fail there. No, no, not even playing. Oh, probably the wrong thing. <laughs> Oh, 
oh, we're gonna have some healthy, healthy, happy muscles recovering to that. Right, we'll see you for some lunch in a bit. Right guys, so it's lunch time now at the dizzy heights of four o'clock. That's uh, me, Sage, and Sandy and Sarah. <laughs> I wolf ever had that for about three years. Um, yeah, Sarah, what have we cooked up? What have you cooked up? Just some leftover pasta. Just some leftovers. Some we'll get a nice shot of that on the phone in a minute. Some pasta, some salad. Yeah, can't wait to get that in. Right, let's get my little cheat sheet up. I make, every time I do a little vlog, make a little cheat sheet of everything we need to talk about. So what else, what have I missed out? Trans Grand Canary canceled. Oh, Trans Grand Canary, can, well it's canceled for us. Our flights have been canceled basically. So probably can't get out to Grand, Trans Grand Canaria. I've entered that race three times now and three times didn't manage to get on the start line last year with a broken ankle. So yeah, coming up on the broken ankle anniversary, that's gonna be fun. I think we'll do something fun for that and get out and have a really long celebration run. Right guys, I guess that's kind of it as I take my shoes off because the next video will be seeing the review which is what we're running in today, the Asics Gel Nimbus Lite 2. Kiki, do you wanna get in the video? Hiding under my desk. So yeah, it's goodbye from Kiki here. You, you go and play under the desk. And goodbye from Sarah, who's having her lunch just over here. Bye. <laughs> and uh, yeah, goodbye from me. So thanks very much to all the patrons. We've got some brand new designed buffs, which I haven't even got yet, but my mum's got them down at the warehouse posting out all of your orders. So thank you for the support you're giving her. And us and everything in buying so the buffs and the hats and the wraps and all the gear on the website. Thank you guys, so it's making all of this possible. And yeah, I'm really enjoying bringing you this content, but it's not possible. <clears throat> Kiki is now climbing up onto my new stand. Kiki, the GoPro's backing up. Oh, she wants to come and play so much. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so it's goodbye from Miki. Thank you for the patrons. Award. Goodbye from Keeks. Goodbye from Sarah. And goodbye from me. We'll see you in the next one.